refreshments, refreshments, herbivores, carnivores, you eat it, we feed it. Ooh, food. Do you have anything leafy? Sure we do. I got sap dip leaf clusters, a leaf witch, leaf on a stick. Ooh, yes, please, to all of them. Tank, no eating before lunch. You'll spoil your appetite. But, Ma, <coughs> nothing spoils my appetite. Oh, next stop, the big pond. We're here. Lunch time. Look at all these enormous, juicy, young, credible leaves. Hey, you're amazing! How can you eat so much so fast? It's my beak. It's super sharp. Perfect for yanking down leaves and chewing them. Can your beak handle that plant? It's super thick. Yum. No problem. I have a beak, too, but I don't like leaves at all. Hmm, their beaks don't look the same, though. Shiny's is longer and thinner. <laughs> and Tank's is shorter and thicker. Maybe we should compare teeth. Open wide, please. <gasps> Whoa! You must have hundreds of teeth in there. They look really strong. No wonder you can chew up leaves. And look, Shiny doesn't have any teeth in her beak. What about my teeth? Are they as sharp as tanks? Uh, they're different from tanks. But they're really sharp. Maybe sharp enough to eat some delicious leaves. Want to try some? Sure, I guess. Who knows? Maybe I'm a herbivore. Oh. Or maybe not. These leaves are hard for my teeth to chew. Mm. Uh, I don't really like them. Ooh. What an interesting hypothesis, buddy. But I'm not sure that ceratopsians use their horns to fight carnivores. Well, do you, Tank? Not really. I mean, my horns look scary, so carnivores won't bug me. But I like to use them for wrestling with other triceratops. But you have a sharp beak, like me. That's a great way to protect ourselves. Yeah, and it's great for chomping through branches and leaves. Snack time! But what do you eat? Oh, I can make a wonderful meal out of shrubs and brush. But when I want something really juicy, I head to the watering hole. Ever tried a shrub marine sandwich? No, that sounds great. I know exactly what Tank's frill is for. It blocks the sun and makes shade for the rest of us. Maybe it helps him catch leaves so he can save them for later. Leaves? Yo! Or maybe the frill helps him fly. Fly? fly? Sure. I bet Tank can fly. Want to try it, Tank? Um, sure, why not? Great. Now stand up and spread your wings. Wings? What wings? <laughs> Good. Now lean back a little more and get ready to leap into the sky. He's coming down! Thanks. I don't think Tank's frill is for flying, Don. Oh, well, trying to fly really works up an appetite. Leaves anyone? Okay, we know Tank's frill doesn't help him fly, but what is it for? I'm not exactly sure. I just know that I've had it all my life, like all Triceratops. Hey, maybe that's it. Frills are here to tell everyone I'm a Triceratops. <laughs> Kids, time for one more game. We have to go soon. Aww. One more game? <laughs> Whoa, look at him nibble that leaf. Such an appetite. <laughs> you think that's an appetite? What a good, good eater you hey, are. Hey, everybody, want to see someone really eat? Check this out. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Mom, my tummy hurts. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I think you may have had a little too many leaves at once and a bit too fast. Would you like to lie down and rest? Um. There it is! The top of the mountain! And soon, we'll all be there with me leading the way! Da 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 da! Charge! Easy there, 
Shiny. I love your enthusiasm, but before we go storming up the mountain, let's see what's around us right here. Well, the trees here are really tall. That's true. They're... Wait, don't tell us. Mmm, juicy. Light and fruity at first. Followed by a hint of nuttiness. It's a sycamore. He's very good at that. Tank knows his leaves. That's funny. All the trees are small here. They're just a little bit taller than me. And I'm tiny. And look, a line of trees and no more trees above it. This must be the tree line. The tree line. Exactly right, kids. We've officially reached the tree line. Do you notice anything about the area? I do. There's no plants except these scraggly little shrubs. That's true, Tank. They are little and scraggly. Anybody think they know why? Maybe the reason trees can't grow tall is because that's how things grow way up high on a mountain, where it's so cold and windy. You are exactly right, buddy. The different weather at high mountain altitudes makes things grow differently. Oh, 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 oh what a great idea. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is going to be the best sleepover ever. We're going to play games and tell stories and funny jokes. And check this out. I brought snacks. Leaf dogs, leaf burgers, leaf roni, leaf sa, enough to last all night. <laughs> But Tank, none of the rest of us eat leaves. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess this is all just for me. Think it's enough? Probably. We also have a lot of leaves back at our nest for you. For the sleepover? Quick, sleepover dance! <laughs> guess who's come by for a play date? Tank! Wait, Tank? What's wrong, Tiny? Tank's a herbivore, a plant eater, and he's the hungriest herbivore ever. He'll eat her whole garden. Oh, I don't know about that. Food! Hey, wait! <laughs> the garden is not food. It's not, but it's a garden. Okay, it is food. But when you eat plants, you eat a lot of plants. And this garden is important to us. We planted it ourselves. Can I see it? I promise I won't eat it. He promises he won't eat it. Wow! You planted this? All of us did. We even planted a rock. It didn't grow, though. <laughs> Butterflies live here, too? And bees, and birds, and spiders, and slugs. It's a whole nature community. Was that thunder? I think it's gonna rain. No, that was my stomach. Your garden smells really, really good. I think I better go. Hey, you, horn boy, hold up a minute. Me, horn? What was that? Tank, meet Sammy the slug. Um, hello? Hiya. You're a herbivore, right? A hungry, hungry herbivore. Well, that's great. This garden needs help. Little herbivores like me can't eat enough, so everything's all overgrown. If gardens get too overgrown, nothing new can grow. So, uh, can you help? <gasps> what? Wait, you want Tank to eat the garden? Not all of it, but big herbivores are part of our nature community. A little snacking from the big guy will help the garden, not hurt it. You mean I get to eat? Yep. Let me tell you where we need you to eat. You want to take a little from there. Grab some of those. They're delicious. Easy, big guy. Easy. And a big hunk from right there. You just jump right into those. Melt in your mouth. <laughs> bon appetit. What? Sammy and Tank look so different, but they both love to eat leaves. Yeah. I guess leaf eaters come in all shapes and sizes. And that's perfect. You're done. That was great work, Tank. Thanks, everyone. Mm. Dinosaur, once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh, boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.